house by house, street by street, the power is coming back on, but too slowly for many, and certainly there's no power in this little close here. Uh, you can actually see, if you go a bit closer, the uh, water lines about halfway up the front doors, so the garages were flooded out downstairs, uh, quite often ruined in many cases, and still no electricity. And in fact, UK Power Networks, which owns the cables and the grid in this part uh, of, of England, in the southeast, says there are about 1,100 homes still without power, about 660 or so in Kent. Well, with me is Paul Carter, who's the leader of Kent County Council. Uh, Mr Carter, are you happy with the response from your council to this? Uh, very much so. I think the emergency teams have worked very well together with the police, Kent Fire and Rescue, uh, Kent County Council, Maidstone Borough Council and the voluntary and community organisations have really rallied round and been working all over Christmas from Christmas Eve onwards coordinating the evacuation uh, of some of the holiday homes, caravans uh, just uh, behind us here, as well as uh, some of the uh, uh, villages including uh, this one we're standing in, Yulding here this morning. Speaking to some of the people here, they accept that this was a big storm, that there were going to be power cuts, but they are frustrated about the lack of information as they see it, not being able to speak to somebody about what's going on. Yeah, well, I was here last night at six o'clock and the uh, UK uh, uh, power networks were working very hard into the evening and I was here again at 6.30, quarter to seven. About six gangs were, uh, arrived in their vans. They're out there doing the job at the moment, hoping to restore power to Yielding today. Um, but uh, obviously, uh, uh, let's hope they don't have too many technical problems and manage to get the power back on because the clean-up is well underway here in Yulding. Uh, we've seen uh, uh, enormous activity uh, here this morning, everybody pulling together to get the clean-up done uh, as best as they can uh, whilst the drying out process will take place. And as soon as they can get the power on and their heating on, uh, the happier the villagers will become. And, of course, people are watching the weather forecasts very warily because if, as expected, there is going to be another fairly big storm from Monday onwards with this saturated ground, it could create similar problems all over again. It is a uh, very big worry and we must make sure that everybody is fully aware uh, where they live in uh, areas, potential uh, flood areas, uh, that they have the numbers for uh, emergency services and help should they need it.